Okay, so we are doing a calculus question. Okay. It's an application of maxima minima. Yeah. And let's go. Give me the question, please. Okay, the question says, just after, just after birth, okay. the mass of a baby drops for a few days and then starts to increase again. So mass drops and then increases. Yeah. Then increases. Fine, I'm with you. Uh, the average mass of a baby yeah. in its first 30 days of life yeah. can be approximated by the following equation. So mass given by... Yeah. And then M of T... M of T... Yeah. Is equal to... Yeah. 0 0.02... Okay. 0 0.02 T cubed... T cubed... Minus... Minus... 0 0.2... Yeah. T squared. Yeah. Plus. I'm with you. 3,200. 3,200. And then the condition is. Okay. T is bigger than zero. Yeah. Bigger than or equal to zero. And. Less than or equal to 30. And T is less than or equal to 30. Yeah. Got it. And then it says where T is the time in days. T equals time in days. And M of T is the mass in grams. And M of T equals mass in grams. In grams. Okay. Fine. Question one. Question one says, what is the mass of the baby at birth? Mass of baby at birth? Yeah. At Sorry, let's fix that up. At birth. Okay. Okay, number two. Question number two says, calculate on what day the mass reaches a minimum. On which day does the mass reach a minimum? Mm-hmm. Does mass reach a minimum? Which makes sense if, they, if they're telling us in the question that it first drops and then starts and then to increase. increase again. Okay, and then, and then third part. Question number three. Find the maximum mass. Yeah, of the baby in the 30-day period. Find the maximum mass in the 30-day period. In the 30-day period. Okay, right, yeah. let's tackle the first question. Okay. So, think about it. At birth, yeah. just after birth, what is the time? Uh, just after birth. It yeah. hasn't been any days yet. In other words, what is the mass days. at birth? Right. So, so at birth, mm -hmm. or at the time of birth rather, mm -hmm. the time equals zero. Yeah. So if I'm looking for the mass, it's just m of zero. Yeah. Okay. So all I do is I plug zero Plus in there. Zero into the equation. And it's nice and easy because when t is naught, that will become zero, that will become zero, zero yeah. and I end up with 3,200 grams. Yeah. Right. So that's nice and easy. Okay. Grams. Okay? Uh -huh. The second question uh -huh. is talking about calculate on what day the mass reached a minimum. Yes. So we're looking for when the, ma the, the mass is a minimum. Okay. How do I find ma mins and maxes? I need to work out the? The derivative is and, se and set it equal to? Zero. Right. So I'm looking for m dashed of t. Are you with uh -huh. me? Yeah. Equal to naught. Equal to zero, yeah. Okay. So what is the derivative here? Three times point zero two. That's going to give you 0 0.06. 0 0.06. T squared. T squared. And then you'll have... 0.2 times 2. Yeah. Are and you then with you'll me? 2 yeah. times negative 0.2, which is negative 0 0.4. Yeah. Times uh, T. Times, okay. times T. Yeah. Nothing else. That's it, yeah. Equals naught. Yeah. Okay, now I can pull out a common factor of T here. Yes, you can. So I'm going to get 0 0.06 uh -huh. minus, with a t next to it, minus 0 0.4. 0 0.4. Equals equal naught. Equal to 0. Yeah. Okay. And that gives me t is naught, right? Mm -hmm. t equals naught. Or 
T equals 0.4 divided four by four. 0 0.06. Okay. Are you with me? Yeah. And what does that equal, 0.4 divided by 0 0.06? That's equal to 0 0.6 recurring. To 0 0.6 recurring. Yeah. 0.4 divided by, oh, sorry, 0 0.4 divided Divi by 0 0.06. That is equal to 6.6 .6 recurring. 6.6. .6. So what does that tell me then? That on the sixth day? Yes, the mass reaches a minimum. Right. It's not on the zeroth day because they've even told us in the question. Yeah. The baby starts to reduce in weight after its birth. Birth, yeah. So it can't be T is naught because T is naught is not the minimum. Yeah, and we've found what T is, right. is equal to already. And 6.6, .6, so it's... A sixth of the way, or rather six tenths of the way, yeah. through the sixth day. Are you with then me? The mass has reached so a minimum. Exactly. So it's a little bit after the six and a half day. But they're asking you on which day. So it's during the sixth day. Okay. Okay. That's all yeah. you need to know here. Okay. Okay. And then there's the last part to this question. Mm -hmm. And the last part is asking us? Uh, to determine the maximum mass of the baby in the 30-day period. Find the maximum mass. Yeah. Okay, how would I do that? Uh, wouldn't you also find the derivative? Okay, do I need to find the derivative? You've already found it. Okay, I've already found the derivative and I got two answers, look. Yeah. And the two answers that I got were 0 and 6.6. And 6. 6. 6. Does, that, does that help me? Is, is the maximum on the 6.6 .6 day or is that the minimum? That's the minimum. And is the maximum on, uh, at birth or does it start to pick up after the 6.6 .6 day? It starts to pick up after. Okay, so I think the point is that you don't need to do the derivative again. Think about it. A cubic graph looks something like this. Are you with me? Yeah, I am. So, and, and this cubic graph, basically, it will start somewhere here, then it drops in weight, and yeah. then it starts to increase again. Now, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm knocking it off from 0 to 30, okay. 30 days. Yeah. So, in actual fact, all I've got to do is work out the y value there. That's all I'm interested in. Okay. So, at 30 days, that's when it's going to be at its heaviest. Yes. Because it's now going to drop in weight and then it starts to increase okay. until the 30th day. Okay. And we're not looking further. Obviously, in a normal um, human growth, it's yeah. going to start increasing and increasing until you reach a point where you either don't grow anymore or you become fat and then you start to lose weight again at some older age. Okay. Right? Yeah. But from the time it's born, it will drop and then it will consistently increase for a long time after. Yeah. And especially f up until the 30 days. So all we need to do is we need to work out M of 30. M of 30. Oh, okay. So we're going to substitute 30 into our original cubic equation. That's all. That's it. So that's all. So we got point zero 0.02 times 30 cubed. Are you with me? Yeah. Minus 0.2 times 30 squared plus 3,200. Mm -hmm. Plug that all in for me. Okay, let me do that quickly. 30 cubed minus 0 0.2 t squared plus 3,200. Just check me out if I'm doing it correctly. Okay. 3,560. 3,560.02 times 30 cubed mm -hmm. minus 0 0.2 times 30 squared yeah. plus 3,200. And I get the same as you. And does that make sense? Yes, it is does. Is it more than the original weight yes, at birth? Is. The original weight at birth was just 3,200. Yeah. And then it dropped in weight, and now it's gone it's all the way up gone. to 3,560. Okay, yeah. Are you clear? Yeah, I'm clear. Okay. So that's a, that was a good question. I like it. Um, okay. Okay, great. Thank you so they much. Could, they could ask you to sketch something like this and explain on a sketch. Then that would be the accompanying diagram, something along those lines. Okay, so then you just have to make the um, approximate... Like measurement between your you wouldn't be able to draw this you wouldn't be able to draw this exactly because maybe your x intercept wouldn't work okay but you could you should know that if it's a positive it starts if it's a positive cubic graph in then other words the x intercept is the x cubed intercept is positive the graph starts on the up like that yeah yeah so you should be able to draw something like that and then you can see it's this section here where it first decreases and then starts to increase again it can't be this section here okay it's this section here. Yes, yes. Because this section here s immediately increases. Increase, yeah. So at birth, so that's now time zero. Yeah. So here's your y-intercept. Are you yes. with me? Yes, I'm with you. And here's your, here's your x-intercept. So it doesn't drop to zero because the baby doesn't disappear. 
<laughs> yeah. It starts off at that weight, it drops, and then it starts to increase. And this is your M over here, and this is your T over here. Okay. So they could ask you to draw some kind of diagram to accompany. But that's what's happening graphically. Okay. Okay, you understand? Yes, yes. Thanks so much. Okay, absolute pleasure.